Well, here it is, the brains of the Pacey Off-Grid Explorer. Um, this is the main battery box where all the batteries, control units, and solar regulators are. So, for the people that have or haven't heard, we're um, we're going a pretty large system on, the, on board to uh, accommodate our off-grid lifestyle. So, um, starting off, um, we in, we're running a 48 volt system. So. Um, running a big inverter what we are you get better efficiencies running off 48 volts and also the size of the batteries uh, works out better for us and the uh, space we had provided so three of plc style lithium batteries um in 12 volt terms amp hours wise we got 890 amps on board um which is amazing it works so good and with our solar on board which is on the roof and i'll take you up and show that we have 1957 watts of solar on the roof um which on a great day we're easy seeing that 1950 1975 watts um, the best we've seen so far coming out of a cloudy day um cool panels um, we've actually got 2,225 watts. Um, so yeah, working great. Um, so what happens? We got a we got a 5,000 watt inverter charger. Um, obviously 48 volt, um, which is insane. Works awesome. We can run all our devices we want uh, when we want um, and multiple at the same time. Um, solar controller wise, we're running to handle the, the 2000 watts pretty well on the roof we've got uh two separate strings coming down one uh four of them go into the 150 by 35 and then there's a single that comes down into the 100 by 20 which is sort of tucked in up here the top um obviously solar wise everything comes in through the breakers um then down into the solar controllers now some have and haven't heard we've actually done the opposite to a lot of people here we're running pretty well all 240 household appliances so we our fridge is a 320 litre um sansum smart inverter fridge um it runs off its own 500 watt inverter obviously running 24 7 um and has been working great um we are not the first one to do this i have seen it in a few truck um setups but be pretty close to one of the first in a caravan i believe um, we've had this planned for pretty well the 13 14 months we've been, been in the build of the van um and yeah it's been going great awesome to have so much room with a large family um, we can do whatever we want um whenever we want um solar wise the worst we've at this point of time after four rainy cloudy days um we got down to 50 percent um Lucky for us, the next day we got a couple of hours of sunlight and we went from 50% back up to, I think it was 85% by the end of the ne that day. And then the next day was actually an awesome day and we straight up to, to uh, by like 10 o'clock the next day, the sun was out and we we're back to 100%. Most days in the morning, if we got full sun in the morning, we we're at 100% by 9, 10 o'clock at the latest, um, obviously depending what we do. For cooking and stuff in the morning, whether we're using the induction cooktop, um, microwave or whatever it is how many kettles we boil for the um coffees or yeah doing the washing up sort of things um we obviously this is a bit of a storage area for us too um our soda stream hides in here and the battery can uh, charge for the for me cordless gear um also lives in here and our little vacuum hides in the bottom um yeah all works well um that little controller unit there is my uh lighting switches and stuff like that um, which which work cool, which work awesome. It's hard to see in the light there, but yeah, awesome. Uh, little touch button screens, I'll show you them later on, but yeah, awesome. They're all programmed together. Um, we can turn multiple on, uh, light switch on and off with one switch. Um, works awesome. Um, coming back out in that same box is our uh, convection microwave. Um, sits in there. Um, in our build, we ne didn't go want to have an oven um we've got no gas so yeah we've gone for the convection microwave um which is so far in the real world has been awesome um we've been able to cook whatever we want whenever we want um 
obviously having a good battery and supply has been good. So back up here, um, as we have the power to burn, uh, you could say, we've just gone for a smart 32 inch Samsung TV. Um, like any TVs, once you're uh, moving or traveling, you take them off the rack and they go on top of the bed. So same thing for us. Um, best thing about this, because it's a smart TV and the van's got its own Wi-Fi set up. Um, yeah, we can log in. Uh, it automatically logs into the Wi-Fi and we can pick up all YouTube, um, stream our TV stations, whatever we want, and do it that way. Um, from the little control unit on the down there, all our battery supplies and stuff all come up to our little touch screen. So we give that a hit there. Um, so as you can see right now, we are at 100%, which nine times of 10, we are around that by, yeah, like I said, 10, 11, 12 o'clock, depending on shade, sun, and all the rest of it. Um, but yeah, pretty well tells us all the functions, what's going on. Technically, we've got 140 watts, 145 watts um, going into the thing. We're just fluctuating there a little bit, um, just keeping everything topped up. Yes, the inverter's on right now, and it's, it's only on standby for a few things that we got plugged in, mainly the microwave and the washing machine right now is still plugged in, but they still pull a little bit just sitting there doing nothing. Um, when you've got power, it doesn't really matter for us, but yeah, um, at night or when we're not needing to, it's a simple thing of us. We can just go swipe, swipe and we can go off there right right now charges off and AC loads go to nothing and you'll see the solar going back down to bugger all so yeah pretty well the solar was there it was all it was is keeping that uh that top up going um, yeah works well um, custom little switch panel we got up for all our auxiliaries 12 volt side so with our 48 volt sit up we actually run two dc to dcs and then that converts it to 12 volt for us um the dcs to dcs go from 48 volt to 12 um and then the t we have them in parallel to each other so um for us we've got airbags on board which runs a air compressor 12 volt and it runs uh, about 35 amps on startup and when it's uh, obviously running and under load so unfortunately yeah to get that 35 amps we have to parallel them up which is no biggie but also gives us a lot on the spare side for if things turn on and need to be at once so which is great um all going well um quick look around while we're in here so samsung Household fridge, um, comes with all the bells and whistles of a normal household fridge, little ice mark up the top, heaps of room um, and stuff. Back out to the inside, we've got a full household wash machine. Um, this was a big tick for us, in a, as in when you're a family, you're on, on the road, you need to be able to do your washing and um, do it uh, reasonably time efficiently. So literally when we pull into a water station or a caravan park if we need to um, we normally try and fill up with water when doing so we run a load of washing through um, and if we have to we'll run multiple loads of washing with the water tanks on supply on board we can run at least two loads of washing um, as you can see we still got our little sticker on on a full load which takes i think it was an hour 20 from the top of my head it uses that 71 litres. Uh, we have a 180 litre um, shower slash washing machine supply. So we can easily get two loads done and hold that in our grey water. And um, obviously caravan park, easy. We can dump it into a great uh, spot. Or um, we've done it a few times now and it works great. We go from uh, the water station to a park, have lunch, uh, do the couple loads of washing, pull them out, go back to the park fill up with grey water, I'll dump the grey water and fill up with water again and then we head on to our next campground. Um, this works awesome for us, not sure how others do it, um, please comment and let everyone let us know what you do, but so far that seems to be our winner for us. Uh, yeah, so that works that. Um, this is a little the boys storage for their clothes, pretty simple, don't know if we better do it with both. Oh, here we go, can't do it here, we can put this down. So yeah. Boys clothes, top and bottom, one each. School books, side by side. Uh, Leakage hasn't made his bed again. But uh, yeah, so that works out for the boys. They've got their clothes and stuff. Um, as you noticed, we have tried to make all our 
uh, storage and cupboards um, containers inside fit like they've all been custom fit to size so um, yeah everywhere where I've made stuff we've had cupboards um, same up here the overhead cupboard come to my hand we've got yeah the th four black containers with our food um, which makes it easy pull them out put them back in um, sit them on the bench you can see what you got what you don't have easy for loading up the shopping and stuff um, so yeah uh, sink um, and then cutlery drawers we've gone um, two separate slide out little thingies what do you want plain cutlery drawers buy them from Kmart wherever you want to buy them simple easy so yeah all the large cutlery and stuff from the bottom knickknacks and all the rest you want to have that bit of a junk side of a cupboard that's our little bit of a junk side and then yeah uh, our cutlery slides in there which works well um, same thing this is all sort of the way we wanted it to work um, makes it easy um, our cupboards have all got slam latches as you can sort of see on the back of my, that one two on each for the drawers and all the rest have got slam latches plate and cutlery all fit in there nice and neat um, so yeah, that works well nice and easy so yeah and then on the bottom we've got all our flowers sugars um, all the cooking needs um, go into the plastic containers we've been collecting the uh, the flower containers for a bit now from a previous we had in the camper trailer so yeah plastic trying to save weight um, they all fit in there nicely got to have your grey box special little rum bottle sitting there and uh, yeah breakfast here all fits underneath wine uh, oil containers so yeah that's our little uh, solution for the inside of our kitchen um, this is all uh, as I've put up in photos these are all aluminium cupboards um, all been powder coated to suit um, yeah sort of hard to see maybe in the photo but yeah it's a black metallic draw doors we put on them um, bit of a this is the knickknacks storage thing um, sort of water pump goes in for the drinking water here um, covers not on at this sort of time because we've uh, I'm still making sure everything is sweet we've had no dramas but haven't finished that off um, can go on now we just uh, haven't had time um, we use for our water we go through a, a filter there and then straight up into the sink um, we are running a composting toilet um, and then there yeah, that's our little bit of uh, peat moss we've uh, hide in there and a few little cleaning products um, all works quite well so the same thing custom made to what fit where we need to fit um, so yeah now families are uh, doing a bit of bit of school work and mucking around but yeah we've uh, we just got our kitchen set up and then this is our dining setup um, some people have seen photos our bed is up there the queen size bed and uh, with a assistance of a electric winch and the pulley system our bed actually comes right down and sits on top of this foam on top of the cushions um the cushions are made too that the table sits down and we can actually make that into a, a large day bed or lounge chair when we want to sit back and watch the telly which is obviously just there so yeah that works quite well um yeah this is the van um the other thing is uh, for yeah people interested underneath the washing machine is our hot water system so it's got its own um got no gas like we're saying on board um, the only gas i use is for our barbecue and that's only in case we can't have a fire um but yeah we've got a thousand watt uh 10 liter hot water system um when it's running and heating the water up we can turn it on and it takes roughly 10 minutes and we're having showers um uses about 950 watts while it's running um so far it's been awesome cannot complain works really well um yeah awesome works well all right i'll take you outside we'll show you quickly the outdoor kitchen and then um yeah i'll cake up on the roof and i'll show you the solar uh, no doubt it'll probably be a little dusty as we've been on the road so outside kitchen um this is this is my area this is the part i love um camp cooking you've got to be able to do it outside on the fire um so yeah this is where all my camping tools would like to be um yeah we got the got to have your music so uh turn that off just to make it easy for the video but our induction cooktop is sitting up here so 
I'm not sure if you did, I'll show you again, but we've got a door that we can actually open from the inside and, and grab the induction cooktop and our pressure cooker. Um, that is something we've taken with us. Um, and yeah, absolutely um, works well. Can't, you know, yeah. It's been great. Um, we're doing um, slow cook meals, even spaghetti bowl and stuff like that, or you know, simple simple jobs uh, and t food you eat at home. Um, yeah, put it on in, in the start of the day and um, come home. You got a hot meal to eat. Um, works great. Um, yeah, awesome. Uh, so there's our airbag control. Just turn that on. There you go. Boom, starts up. Uh, we're the reason why the bags have got no air in it right now, we've aired them right out um, to level up on site. Um, so we're sitting level. So yeah, that's how it sits there. It'll pump up. And uh, we haven't had that on actually for five days or whatever it is. Um, yeah, so it works well. Um, it can't fold it. So turn that off so it's a bit, turn that off so it's a bit less quite noisy. But um. For the outdoor kitchen, so we can run the induction cooked up, there is a 240 watt power point hiding in behind there. And um, our light switches are here, turn on our external lights. Um, same thing, Siggy, Siggy lighter plug and USB here too. So you always, if you need to charge stuff on the outside or do whatever you need, it's all here. Um, yeah, awesome. Uh, camp set up, fires out there, a little custom barbie I've got. And then, um, yeah, we'll go outside and we'll jump up on the roof and uh, have a look at our solar. Boys bikes, um, I'll take some photos and stuff of the boys bikes when we pack up and show you how that is. Uh, just jumping up on the front toolbox. So yeah, there is our solar. So as you can see, unfortunately we're covered in leaves, it's been quite dusty and windy today. Um, I'm in trying to get up there the Savo and clean it off when it cools down. But yeah, that is our solar system in. We have pretty well got a full roof of solar. Um, yeah, I think square meterage wise, I can't remember exactly what we got left, but yeah, there's not much room for anything else bar solar. Um, we planned it that way. Um, the reason why we've got so much roof space is we've gone no roof hatches. We've gone completely, um, Aircon and stuff is all tucked in underneath the um, the front boot here, and I'll show you that on the other side because I've got that one locked, of course. Um, toolbox, um, barbecue comes out on the passenger side. Um, Jenny slides on the other slide, and then in here, normally our camp chairs and stuff live in, in this one when we're packed up, but it's hard to see in there under, under that. But that's our air conditioning unit. Um, so far has been an awesome little um, purchase. The main reason we've gone that is so that we had roof space. Um, and the best thing about it for us is we can run the air con through the day and still put around about a thousand watts into our fridge, uh, sorry, into our battery. So technically we can run the air con in a full sunny day, be nice and cool inside. And um, yeah, happy days for us. We, uh, and keep the battery topped up. So, all right guys. I'll leave it at that. We'll um, we'll catch up soon, and um, yeah, if you have any questions and stuff, yell out, and we'll uh, we'll answer them for you. Cheers.